Hi everybody and welcome to today's Faith Moments. So this is the third and the final one in a little series from myself on the Song of Ascents. And as I've been saying over the last two weeks, these, are, these were psalms that were thought to be read and spoken as people were ascending to Jerusalem, traveling to one of the three great feasts centered at Jerusalem. And there were a little selection of psalms towards the end of the book of Psalms. And the one that I've chosen for today is called, very simply, Home. So as we're thinking about the Psalms of Ascent, there is this sense of journey, of traveling together, of moving somewhere, of going somewhere. And there's a, a wonderful mystery in the Christian faith that we are traveling with God, we're journeying with him, we're seeing out there. We're already found by him and finding him. So it's a strange mixture. We're traveling, we're journeying, we're pursuing, but we're already home by grace. We're already home. And I sometimes think it's more that we've already been taken home by grace with God. And we're exploring, we're traveling, we're exploring where God's put us. Let me show you what I mean. The final song in the Song of Ascents says... Psalm 134. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. That means you and me. We're all you servants of the Lord who stand by night in the house of the Lord. I'm just trying to imagine this desire in the heart of the people to stand in the house of the Lord. For those who were living away from Jerusalem, that, whether in exile or whether um, they've travelled away, that was where they looked to pray, to believe that God would meet with them. That was their spiritual home, the temple in Jerusalem. So come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, big and small, great and weary, who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Beautiful place to stand. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless him. When did you last bless God? When did I last bless God? Not ask him, but bless him. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. And then may the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. There's a two-way blessing going on. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. Bless him today. May the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, bless you from Zion. So as I said, there's a sense in the, in the Christian heart of the Christian message that we're journeying, we're pursuing, we're seeking God. But there's also the very clear sense that by grace, we've already been placed in that spiritual home. And the seeking, the desiring is more about not taking that for granted and asking God to open the eyes of our hearts to see where he's already put us. So for the pilgrims, they were ascending towards Jerusalem. For us, by grace, God's put us there. And I want to share a verse from Romans 5, which to me just, just hits it on the head. So this is a writer in Romans 5. This is about where we stand. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Since we're justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through whom, this is what I'm going to, we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And I just want to shout on this. Can you get, it's, it's exciting. We're not traveling towards grace. We're standing in grace. By faith in Christ, we've obtained access to this grace in which we stand. And I put there two feet just standing. They're not traveling anymore. They're standing in grace. They're standing in grace. For the pilgrims that read those Psalms, they were traveling towards Jerusalem, the holy place. For us, by faith, we stand in grace. We stand in grace. And the traveling now is more about exploring where we already are. Just catch this with me. Since we're justified by faith, with peace with God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand. So beautiful. Song of Ascents were probably spoken and sung by people traveling to the whole place, traveling to their spiritual home. By faith in Christ, we already stand in that holy place to praise and to bless our Lord. We've already come home. Let's pray. Father, it's so beautiful and it's beyond even what our hearts can begin to cry for. But thank you that by grace you have brought us home. And our journey now is to explore where we already are. But may we today lift up holy hands to bless your holy name as we stand in grace. Amen. So the homework for me and for you today is lift up holy hands to bless this God who's brought us home, and brought us to stand in grace. So God bless you, God keep you, and thank you for the journey.